Hey, sure a few of you saw this one coming. Today we're gonna prove the power rule. So let's say we have x to the power of n and we wanna take that there derivative. All right, so by definition, this is equal to the limit of, you know, this, that, and the other thing. So let's write that. All right, now luckily we just covered the binomial formula. So we have an expression for x plus h to the power of n. It's the sum from k equals zero to n of n choose k times h to the k times x to the n minus k. Okay, so that's all x plus h to the n. And then we have minus x to the n right here. We're dividing by h. All right, now this sum has an x to the n term in it. That occurs whenever k is equal to zero because we have h to the zero there and then we have x to the n minus zero, so x to the n, and then we have n choose zero. How many ways can you select zero things from a set of n things? One way, you just don't take any, right? Okay, so we can bump that out of the sum and cancel it with that one. All right, so we're just starting the sum at one now to bump out that x to the n term and then we cancel it with that one. So that's what happened there. All right, now every term here has an h in it because k is you know, bigger than one. So we can actually divide h out. All right, so we divide it out by h. That's why the exponent is now k minus one instead of k. The exponent of h decreased by one on every term. Okay, now we can just take this limit. h is approaching zero. So every term here is gonna vanish unless its exponent on h is zero. So that's when k minus one equals zero, so that's when k equals one. So we only have the k equals one term left after we take the limit. Okay, so when k is one, what does n choose k? What's n choose one? How many different ways can you select one thing from a set of n things? In different ways, so we have n. And remember, k is equal to one, so we have k minus one, which is one minus one, so h to zero, so that's one. And then we have x to the n minus one. And we're done. That is the power rule. The derivative of x to the power of n is equal to n times x to the power of n minus one. See, the cool thing about this is you can actually use this result when you're taking derivatives because you've, you've proved it. So now you've earned the right to use it when you're taking derivatives. I mean, it'd be ridiculous if people were just applying this and they had no idea how to prove it, right? No, I'm just kidding. Kind of. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see a proof of next for these quick little videos. But that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you guys next time.